Hello wonderful people, welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back update and information as it the hot. If this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel, like, comment, share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever we are posting news, you will be the first to collect it. Let's go down to the news proper as it the hot. Former Anambra State Governor Obiano dragged to u.s court over nigerian army's alleged clean of five ipob members yakata <laughs> it don't happen uh you know say when these politicians will be said then they niger finish committing their matter matter will be said that they commit they go wrong go u.s they're not going to fix their state or they're not going to build road they're not going to give good hospital but they go the wrong one go US where we say the place don't they developed. But thank God say the people don't they wise up now. Say even if you run the SF, uh, they go still take you to court. And you know, the same thing will happen to a Korema the way in one small go somebody, uh, one go use um uh, replacing doctor kidney. Uh, and uh, they ain't go to court now, they then send them to jail. And if like saying I waiting they go they do to these politicians, if they run away, they go find them there, conjure them there. But meanwhile, make I bring you the full story uh, as to the heart. According to court documents obtained by Sahara reporters on Friday, the suit was filed by the wives of the disease, identified as Jane Doe's one to five. The complainants who are seeking damage under the Torture Victim Protection Act against defendant Willie Obiano for the extrajudicial killing under color of Nigerian law by Nigerian military forces under defendant's command and control of their husband identified as John Doe's 1 to 5. Willie Obiano, the immediate past Anambra State Governor, has been dragged before the United States District Court for the Southern District of Texas over the alleged gruesome killing of five members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, by the Nigerian army. According to court document obtained by Sahara reporters on Friday, the suit was filed by the wives of the disease identified as Jane Doe's 1-5. The complainants who are seeking damage under the Torture Victim Protection Act against defendant Willie Obiano for the extrajudicial killing under color of Nigerian law by Nigerian military forces under defendant's command and control of their husband identified as John Doe's 1-5. The case was filed through their legal representative, Bruce Finn, who is also named the Colonel's U.S.-based lawyer. The lawyer argued that the U.S. court had jurisdiction to entertain the matter because the plaintiff brought the matter under U.S. law, Torture Victim Protection Act of 1991, and that the defendant, Obiano, is now a resident of Texas. According to the document, during his tenure as governor of Anambra State, Obiano possessed command, responsibility, and effective control over the Nigerian soldiers complicit in the extrajudicial killing of John Doe's and acting in concert with former Nigerian President Muhammad Buhari or his agents. The court document, document reads, on October 23, 2020, John Doe, number one, was attending a peaceful IPOB rally in Newi, Anambra State, under the government of defendant Obiano to support the restoration of Biafra sovereignty. He was shot dead by a Nigerian military force under the command and control of defendant Obiano under color of Nigerian law in a prominent market square where a Biafra demonstration had peacefully gathered. About seven truckloads of heavily armed Nigerian military men stormed the market square and began indiscriminately shooting at IPOB demonstrators killing at least 13, including John Doe, number one. The government of Nigeria has refused to investigate the extrajudicial killing of John Doe and seeking judicial relief in a civil suit would be futile because Nigeria's judiciary is an arm of executive branch. In the statement of fact, the plaintiffs further said 
Defendant Willie Obiano served as governor of Anambra State in Nigeria from March 17, 2014 to March 17, 2022. In November 2021, through his spokesperson Don Adenoba, Defendant revealed his intent to move to the United States when his second gubernatorial term expired on March 17, 2022. Defendant was immediately arrested for suspected corruption by Nigeria's Economic and Financial Crime Commission upon departing office, but was released for medical reasons. Defendant came to the United States to receive medical treatment on, on or about March 2022. During his service as governor of Anambra State, Defendant Obiano possessed command, responsibility, and effective control over the Nigerian soldier complicit in extrajudicial killing of John Doe 1 to 5 under color of Nigerian law acting in concert with Nigerian President Muhammadu Buhari or his agents. Indigenous People of Biafra IPOB is an organized dedicated to the peaceful restoration of Biafra sovereignty extinguished a century ago in Nigeria by British military conquest and the so-called scramble for Africa. Biafra occupies southeast Nigeria, spotting a population approximating 7 million. Biafrans are overwhelmingly Christians. They are gifted, entrepreneurs, and embrace democracy, including equality for women and devotion to education. The predominance of Nigeria's rich oil resources is in Biafra. Namdekano is the consensus leader of IPOB. In June 2021, while visiting Nairobi, Kenya, Mr. Kano was kidnapped, tortured, and subjected to extrajudicial rendition by Nigeria authorities to Abuja on concocted charges of treason and terrorism. Mr. Kano has been illegally imprisoned without trial in solitary confinement and denied access to need needed medical care. On July 20, 2022, the United Nations Working Group on Arbitrary Detention issued an authoritative opinion finding Mr. Kano's detention by Nigerian authorities violated 16th Human Rights Covenant and ordered his immediate and unconditional release. The government of Nigeria is in contempt of the working group's order. In September 2017, the government of Nigeria attempted the assassination of Nam De Kano in his home. The Abia State Court in Nigeria has awarded Mr. Kano a large sum of money in damages for the assassination attempt. Nigeria has made IPOB member or profess membership a terrorist crime. IPOB was declared a terrorist organization by President Muhammad Buhari in September 2017 with no due process. Despite furious lobbying by government of Nigeria, no other country in the world has found IPOB a terrorist organization. The profess or exhibit IPOB membership in Nigeria is like Jews forced to wear the yellow star of David on their clothing in Nazi Germany. They are immediately placed in the crosshairs of Fulani terrorist government of Nigeria. According to the court document, the plaintiff requests the following reliefs against defendant Obiano, compensatory damages for count one to five in amount to be determined at trial. Punitive damages for count one five in amount to be determined at trial. Attorney's fee, cost and pre-judgment interest, and such other relief that the count that the court found just and proper. My wonderful people, when I don't see, I see the shell, I see the heart. <laughs> Uh, you know, say these politicians, after they commit their mago mago and their crime crime, <laughs> if na fella fella go sing song for you, yeah, with the first thing we go they do, we say they go run America, say they won't go do treatment. Then myself, I go to ask them, why if you say this hospital where they run go America, uh, go, why you no go build them for Nigeria? Of course, you, you know that um, between... Uh, between 2020 to this year, 2023, 
uh, Nigeria has, you know, should I say they have lost a lot of medical personnel because everybody is moving to, uh, some are going to America, some are going to Canada, some are going to London and the rest of the place. And you are still going to America, London and Canada to meet these medical personnel that schooled and graduated in Nigeria. But because the government uh, is not capable of providing for them, uh, they don't, their salary is wholesale. Everyday strike, uh, no, no, you know, the, the, everything is just going way wire in this country. It's just weird, a weird situation in Nigeria, and you see these uh, politicians running to these foreign countries to receive their treatment. Meanwhile, the doctors and nurses that you are going to meet in that country are your children, those that have been trained under your eyes, under under your watch, and they are leaving the country, and you have not even. You know, try your best to see how best you can provide in you know, a good working environment for these people. Now, Obiano has finished and ran to America, and he thought that um the matter was going to end there. And look at what is happening now. And you know that when you go to these Western countries, they don't take it lightly when they see issues like this. Yeah, but we'll be looking at it. I will keep you updated on what is going to be happening with Obiano and this case, this matter that he is answering. Uh, meanwhile, if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, please uh, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, also, like, comment, share, and remember to on your notification button so that whenever we are posting news, you will be the first to collect it. Thank you for listening. God bless you.